So recently there has been a battle between which device is better, the iPad or the Kindle. People don't really know what to do, you know, which one to get because it's whether you want something that's, you know, the brand name or which is which works better, you know. Um, social exchange theory is the pros and cons, and it helps you decide which. But it helps you decide um, what would rather benefit you in the future because with social exchange theory, you can weigh your pros and cons, you could think about your conclusion, and you could find an alternative. Um, so as a member of society, I had to go through, obviously you all have to go through social exchange theory where you have to decide like, what you're gonna do today, or um, what you're gonna eat, or what time you're gonna do your homework. You're gonna have to weigh, like, if you do your homework today, or I mean later, what are you gonna do, like what's gonna happen to you, right? Learning about um, social exchange theory will help us understand the essentials of decision making through pros and cons, consequences, alternatives, when faced with a situation. First, I will share with you Tibbo and Kelly's suggestion that social exchange theory is the act in which a person weighs his or her advantages and disadvantages, then contemplates about the consequences, and lastly, look for alternatives. Pros and cons. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what pros and cons are. Pros are your the benefits when deciding like how will it affect you positively in your future or what you're gonna, what good are you gonna get from it? And cons are what you're gonna, what you know, neg how it will negatively affect your life. Like for example, do your homework later. If you do it right, if you do it later, then you're gonna have to, you know, you have to stay up late and pretty much not get it done in time. Now that we have this decided and gone through the pros and cons, we should think about the consequences. Consequences. Hmm. Consequences will, it will, it's basically um, considering how it will affect our life and like our relationship and just basically us. For example, if you do your homework later, like I said, it's not gonna work out because like for example today, this one I had to do it like early in the morning because my computer wasn't working so I had to go to the library at like seven o'clock and that's an example of consequence so I suggest you guys don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, now that we've made our decision and consider our consequences, let's have an alternative. Alternative is like your plan B. It's basically like a good, a better decision than what you had before. It's um, also considered your backup plan, and it will help you decide if your first, your plan A is going to work better, or if you have to decide, you know, what you have to do. Now that we know what said it, what social exchange theory is, let's wrap things up. Understanding the essentials of decision making through pros and cons, accepting the consequences, and coming up with alternatives when faced with a situation is important to remember and discuss to further understand social exchange theory. So I've shared with you Timo and Kelly's views on social exchange theory, benefits of waiting, your advantages and disadvantages, alternatives to back up, alternative to back up your decision. We go through social exchange theory all the time and we never truly analyze you know our decisions and how it's gonna affect us in the future. We just decide on the last minute. So hopefully, with me telling you what social exchange theory is and weighing your pros and cons and your consequences and finding an alternative, it will. Um,
it will help you out in the future when deciding because then you can think about that.